What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And I'm just checking in on you. Today's video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, Tuesday, November 9th. I hope everyone is having a good reset day. I also know that uh, in today's season, the Manhunt target Cersei was just unlocked. So if you defeat Cersei, you should have access to Fei Lao. Now remember, if you have already done Season 4 previously, you can go to Camp White Oak and just toggle the game settings to the Manhunt Fei Lao mission. So, I was thinking I was going to be able to do the manhunts over again, but then I remembered I already had the mission. So there's really no point in me doing it again when I can just, you know, skip straight to the end. But alright, so there is that today. Now, f as far as the weekly vendor reset, what we do is we start at the base of ops. We make our way around Washington, D.C., and then we finish up in New York City. I hope you enjoy it. If so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, support the channel by subscribing, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Did I miss a must buy? Is there a item that I skipped over that you like? You know, your recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. But alright, let's get started with the base of ops vendor. Here we go. Good to see you. Okay. So starting off at the top, we have the Invisible Hand. This is the named AUG Assault Rifle with Perfect Allegro. Now Allegro used to be a talent you could put on all your weapons back in year one, but now after gear 2.0, this is actually the only weapon in the game that has this uh, talent on here. Now Perfect Allegro gives you rate of fire. So this AUG actually shoots a little bit faster than your normal AUG. It also comes with crit damage as the attribute. Then we have a police T821 with damage to armor and in sync. Now I'm not a big T821 fan, however, damage to armor is multiplicative and in sync is very easy to proc and that is 30% weapon damage once you proc it. So this is a pretty good one. You can easily just reroll the SMG damage to max, and you're good to go. Then we have a F2000 assault rifle with headshot damage and on empty, followed by a officer's M9A1 with rate of fire and close and personal. As far as the gear items, we have a 511 backpack with concussion, armor region, and repair skills. And then a Giligard chess piece with spark, max armor, headshot damage, and health. Now, spark. I remember in year one, spark was a really fun talent to run. But let me know in the comments section below how many people actually run spark nowadays. I myself just can't get around to using it anymore. I don't know. We'll see. And then as far as the mods, we have a headshot damage, 7.0. Drone at two extra bombs, turret burn damage 4.2, and sticky bomb blast radius of 4.9. As far as any must buys or things to look out for at your first base of ops vendor, um, I, I would I really wouldn't recommend any of them, unless you guys really do like spark and then you could have like a little tanky spark build. I don't know. Let's move on to the clan vendor. Like always, a shout out to the DOD, Disciples of Doom. I am uh, currently on Xbox and PlayStation, but uh, I think my buddy Hoot is also getting a PC clan together as well. So uh, hit us up. We also have an active Discord, 2,700 members so far. So let's uh, let's get those numbers up. Nice to see you, now we are at the clan vendor, what? Okay, so the clan vendor is dropping some Fox's Prayer on that ass. So we have Fox's Prayer knee pads. These are the best in slot knee pads in the game. Um, as far as the attributes go, it comes with health and weapon damage. Now, if 
you need Fox's prayer knee pads. You could pick these ones up, reroll the health to whatever attribute you want, but then you need to optimize that 12.1 weapon damage to 15%, just so you know. But like always, Fox's prayer knee pads are best in slot. I mean, no one can take that away. So if you need them, you can pick them up right here at the clan vendor. Moving on to the gear set items, we have Negotiator's Dilemma Holster with really decent crit damage. This is actually a pretty good pickup right here, this Negotiator's Dilemma Holster. Rigor Knee Pads with skill damage, this is a good pickup as well. And Eclipse Protocol Knee Pads with status effects, this is a good pickup as well, 9% status effects, wow, that is a good one. Now let's move on to the high end items. KSG shotgun with maxed out headshot damage and eyeless, followed by an MP7 with perpetuation and health damage, and a tactical UMP45 with spike and accuracy. To the other high end items, we have Alps mask with crit damage and health, a Diceros uh, with reformation and accuracy. Bellstone Armory knee pads with armor region and weapon handling. Hmm, interesting. And then a 511 backpack with versatile, uh, also hazard protection and skill haste. Looking at the mods, crit chance 4.9, turret skill haste 6.3, pulse radius 9.1, and drone duration of 6.7. So any must buys, items to look at at the clan vendor this week, I would say, you know, obviously, take a look at the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads. The Negotiator's Dilemma Holster is a decent one to pick up. The Rigor Knee Pads are good as well, as, as is the Eclipse Protocol Knee Pads. So check out the first four items from the clan vendor. Then scroll down here to the Bellstone Armory. So the Bellstone Armory comes with weapon handling and armor regen. So having armor regen on there is good because it also comes with the brand set bonus of armor regen. And weapon handling is really good with LMG builds. And you know what else is good with LMG builds? A lot of armor. So then you could out tank your enemy with an LMG and have weapon handling for a really fast reload. That would be really deadly uh, in this game, just saying. And yeah, I mean the 511 with versatile isn't bad, but uh, I would reroll the skill haste off for like crit damage and then throw this on like a SMG build. But all right, Moving on, that was your clan vendor. Now we're going to go through Washington, D.C. from the west to the east, starting with the campus settlement. Here we go. Ooh, them load times. Yo, it is pissing down rain in this game. Jeez. All right. So we're going over here to Cassie's Doppelganger. Alright, Campus Settlement. Starting with the Commando. This is the named SVD Marksman Rifle with, ooh, damage to targets out of cover. Now it also comes with Perfectly Naked. Now what I would do with this one is if you want this weapon, pick it up and reroll the Marksman Rifle damage. We'll recalibrate it to max and you should be good to go. One optimization for that damage to targets at a cover will max it out and that's it you're you're good now yeah that's not bad moving on custom m44 with in sync and health damage then we have a m249 bravo with swap speed and close and personal for the gear items we have a badger tough mask with skill haste and repair skills and then a Sokolov Concern holster with explosive resistance and hazard protection. That's sure a good one. I'm going to keep that one. Now, as far as the mods are concerned, we have a skill duration, 8.5. K 
Kim Launcher Ensnare Duration 7.9, Hive Duration 4.3, Pulse Radius 8.7, and Trap Duration of 4.1. So any must buys gear to look at from the campus settlement, the commando named SVD is a good pickup. And also the Sokolov Concern holster with explosive resistance and hazard protection, both decent rolls. I would reroll the weapon damage to armor and just have like a really tanky resistant, you know, has business build. is appreciated. All right, moving on. We're going to start with our Dark Zones now. And uh, first up, Dark Zone Ho West. Ho West! Alright, come on. Alright, Dark Zone West. Hello, Agent. Alright. Now remember, as I go through all of these Dark Zone items at all of these Dark Zone vendors, you need Dark Zone resources to buy them. Just so you know. Next to the items, you can see the weird little symbol with the R. That is DZ Resources. Okay, here we go. Starting with the Baker's Dozen, this is the named M1A with Perfect Lucky Shot. Also comes with Crit Chance. Followed by a tactical SASG-12 with decent shotgun damage and damage to targets out of cover with pummel. I mean, this isn't horrible. So you could easily pick this up, re-roll the pummel off for whatever talent it is you want, and then just optimize those attributes. Make your own little god roll SASG-12. Then we have a military MK-17 with swap speed and sadist. Now going to the gear items, Hunter's Fury Gloves with crit damage, Striker's Knee Pads with headshot damage, then we have Murakami Gloves with skill damage and status effects, and a DNH pair of knee pads with headshot damage and crit chance. Hmm. Now looking at the mods, Disorient Resistance 8.5. Seeker Mind Damage, 4.1. Shield Damage Bonus, 1%. Firefly Skill Haste, 5.9. And Decoy Health of 6.0. Now, any must-buys, things to look at in DZ West. Hmm. The SASG is okay. You could pick that one up if you need it. Hunter's Fury with Crit Damage is always my go-to, especially with SMGs. And if you're running a pistol build, I mean, I guess the Douglas and Harding, you have headshot damage and crit chance, but there's better uh, items to put as a knee pad. All right, moving on to DZ South. Let's see if we have any luck down south. I doubt it, though. I don't know. We'll see. We got Fox's Prayer out of the clan vendor, so that's pretty crazy. Now, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, everyone. Support the video and the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Oh nice, so DZ South, The Orbit. This is actually a, a PVP exclusive revolver. Now this revolver comes with Perfect Finisher. Now as far as the attribute, yeah, it does come with health damage, but you can change that to whatever you want and then just optimize the pistol damage. But the Orbit, it's not an easy weapon to find. It is a PVP exclusive. Meaning the only ways you can get this weapon from the DZ, from Conflict, or, if you're lucky, from a named item cache. So pretty cool. Not bad. Uh, Orbit is at DZ South, and it is 153 DZ resources. Next up, we have a Tommy Gun with mag size and in sync. Nice. Followed by an ACR with killer and reload speed. And then a first wave PF-45 with strained and mag size. Now going to the gear items. Tip of the spear backpack with headshot damage. Eclipse protocol chest piece with health. Ooh, Seska backpack with adrenaline rush. What? Hold up, wait a minute. Yo, all right. So this is going to be a good must buy for, you know, this week's vendor reset. This is a Seska backpack with adrenaline rush, 
crit chance and weapon handling. Not only that, but the weapon damage is starting out at 14.1. So that's what, like maybe two optimizations, if you're lucky, um, to max it out. So this is pretty good. You can make it crit chance, crit damage. You can keep it how it is. You can change, you know, weapon handling to whatever talent or uh, attribute you want. So this is a pretty damn good backpack. Pick it up. Suska backpack with adrenaline rush. Not bad. Okay. Next up, we have a Seska chess piece with tag team, status effects, and repair skills. And then for the mods, crit damage, 10.2. Drone at scan range, 7.8. Turret skill haste, 5.7. And sticky bomb duration, 6.2. Now looking at all of these from DZ South, things to come over here and check out must buys and items to look for the orbit this is a good named weapon to have in your arsenal and then also this seska backpack with adrenaline rush all right moving on to dz east remember to fast travel to the alpha checkpoint and just walk outside the door instead of going to the main entrance and running all the way through that you know that first part now it might just do this, like reload you into a active DZ server, but just DZ go right outside the door. Boom. Alright, right, so DZ Hostiles East, here we go. Location nearby. It's good to see you. Detected. Nearby location. Guarded by hostile. Alright, Isaac. Shut up, dude. Access granted. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Isaac. Alright. So DZ East vendor, here we go. Starting with the pinprick. This is the named SRS marksman rifle with perfect first blood. Also comes with crit damage. Followed by a custom M44 with sadist and damage to targets at a cover. And a MG5 with eyeless and health damage. Going to the gear items, we have a rigor mask with repair skills. Uh, a rigor holster with status effects. Seska mask with health and armor regen. And then finally, Walker Harris holster with explosive resistance and armor regen. Now looking at the mods, we have a skill haste 10.1. Chem launcher ensnare health 14.2. Hive duration 4.1. Pulse cone size 6.4 and finally trap duration 5.8. Alright, so for your DZ East vendor must buys things to look at. Um nah, I'd pass. Alright. And our last stop for Washington DC, the theater. And then after this we have two more vendors at New York City, and we're done. Now don't forget to hit Come that thumbs up. Please look. support the, sh uh, the channel by subscribing. Let Always me know what you guys think about these must buys in the comment section below. What? Another pair of health boxes, prayer knee pads? What? And these are worse than the ones at the clan vendor. Come on, man. You're telling me that their vendor algorithm magically brought up two pairs of Fox's prayer knee pads, both with health, and one is significantly better than the other. That that's not even fair, man. That's that's a waste of a gear item. Dang. Alright. So Fox's prayer knee pads are at the theater. I would not buy these knee pads. If you need to buy the Fox's Prayer knee pads, go over to the clan vendor and buy those. Those have higher Hi attributes there. than this one. So just remember that. They are also at the theater, but I would not buy the one at the theater. Buy the one at the clan vendor. Jeez. Shake my head to you, sir. And we have a Black Market SASG-12 with fast hands and crit damage. Followed by a SOCOM M1A with damage to targets at a cover and in sync. Jesus. Um, if you're an M1A person, I mean, there you go. 
Then we have a Sokolov Concern Glove with headshot damage and hazard protection. And then Bellstone Armory Knee Pads with armor region and hazard. Now these are better than the ones earlier. So these come with armor region and hazard so you could have like a full tanky build with this one opposed to the other one with the uh, weapon handling. Not bad. Now looking at the mods we have a shock resistance 8.6 seeker mine plus one cluster shield 4.3 deflector damage firefly plus one max target and decoy health 5.5 now must buys things to look for at the theater settlement obviously you have the fox's prayer knee pads but again I'm telling you just pick up the ones at the clan vendor they have higher attributes the SOCOM M1A is nice, but I'm not a big rifle fan, so if you are, pick this one up. And then the Bellstone Armory Knee Pads with Armor Region and Hazard. That's a pretty good combination to have. Alright, that is it for Washington, D.C. Let's finish up in New York City, and then we will be out of here. Do, 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 do. On our way to the Haven. Let's go. So that load time. All right, first up is Marco. Come on, Marco. Hey there, you got something to trade? All right, so at the top we have a MP5 with damage to targets out of cover and measured. That's not bad. It it gives you like some burst damage on a SMG and the dar damage to targets out of cover. I mean, that's a good pickup. I would say pick it up. Then we have a Covert SRS with First Blood and Optimal Range, followed by a Police MK-17 with Crit Chance and Optimist, and then a Military M9 with Crit Hit Damage and Vindictive. Gear Items, Richter and Kaiser Backpack with Energize, Skill Damage, and Weapon Handling, China Light Gloves with Weapon Handling and Health, and then China Light Holster with status effects and weapon handling as well. Now looking at the mods, we have Blind Death Resistance 8.5, Bleed Resistance 8.5, Turret Burn Damage 4.1, Chem Launcher plus one ammo, and then Trap Duration 4.2. Now Must Buys things to look at from Marco. Starting off with the MP5 with measured and damage to targets at a cover. I would definitely check that one out. Also, the Police MK17 is nice with Optimus. I would switch out the crit chance for either damage to armor or damage to targets at a cover. Alright, and that concludes that. Let's go over to Roy Benitez and finish off this weekly vendor reset. But first... We have to pet the dog. What's up, buddy? What's up? Don't go over here without petting the dog. Come on, everyone. Show some love to the doggy. I wonder what his name is. Yo, uh, name the dog in the comment section below. Tell me what you would name the dog. It would need to be a division dog. So you'd say, I would name the division dog this. Let me know. All right, here we go. Last vendor of the video Roy Benitez hey how are ya okay starting with the F2000 this is with strained and damaged armor now I would not have strained on this AR because it shoots too quick but that damaged armor is nice so if you like the F2000 I would pick this one up reroll the strained for whatever talent it is you want and you're good to go. Just make sure you optimize your attributes. Now we have a military M60 with in sync and max LMG damage. Nice. Now for this one, this is a, this is a good one. So in sync on an LMG gives you that extra damage. Having an M60, it already shoots very slow, so you're getting a very high base damage, and it already has max LMG damage as an attribute. So what I would do is reroll the stability off 
for damage to targets out of cover. Or right, hold on. So damage to armor. My bad. Because it already has damage to targets out of cover. So reroll stability off for damage to armor. Get that max. Have uh, you know the damage to targets out of cover optimized. And you will have a god rolled M60. Very nice. Then we have a LVOAC with lucky shot and accuracy. First wave PF45 with damaged armor and vindictive. Moving on to the gear items Douglas and Harding backpack with unstoppable force, headshot damage, and crit damage. That would be pretty good for a pistol build, uh, especially with that unstoppable force. Then we have Petrov knee pads with max weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage. Dang! That's another one. Come on, pick it up. Having the double crit on, like, say, an MG5 or, you know, an M60 or, you know, the Slepner. I mean, there, there's a lot of good LMGs you could use these knee pads with. Very nice. Then we have a Richter and Kaiser holster with status effects and skill haste. Now finishing off with the mods. Uh, incoming repairs, 16.8. Crit chance, 4.3. Drone armor repair, 6.4. Firefly speed, 7.9. And sticky bomb skill haste, 4.1. Now must buys, things to look at from Roy Benitez. The F2000 is a pretty good one with the damage to armor. The military M60 is pretty good with in sync and max LMG damage. The Douglas and Harding backpack is pretty good with the headshot damage, crit damage, and unstoppable force. And then finally, check out the Petrov knee pads with max weapon damage and crit chance crit damage as the attributes. Well, we can help each other out. But that's it. That is your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, November 9th. I hope everyone has a good reset day. Remember, if you are new or returning to the game, today is uh, the Manhunt Unlock of Cersei, where as soon as you finish her, you will unlock the Fey Lao Manhunt mission. So check it out. Um, the Fey Lao Manhunt mission was the last like uh, story mission of the Division 2 as of now. So we're not sure what they're going to continue with, but we know that the Fei Lao mission was scheduled to be the last thing. So if you are new or returning, you'll be able to finish that finally. But all right, everyone. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. This was your weekly vendor reset. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.